This is episode 58 of the Out of the Minds podcast. I'm Sean Oakley. And I'm Sam Cooper, and we've got uh, a double feature episode this time, sort of. <laughs> yeah, this is um, it's quite interesting, actually. Um, so Sam and I sat down a couple of days ago to play a game to, to record for the podcast, and... Uh, well, let's put it this way, it's... It went badly for for me. You conceded um, after about twenty five minutes. I, be, I believe there was fifty <laughs> minutes on the clock, and I mean, honestly, I don't think I flew that badly. I don't think there was there were a couple of mistakes in there for sure, um, but I don't think it was like oh, I made a literary of errors to to cause it to do that. Um, you got two very nice pro tops into hound pretty much killed hound and at that point with where my list was and where your ships were there was just no way back really yeah uh so we we didn't really want to review that because it would have been so incredibly brief and and that so um because we'd done it in such a short time we we sat down yeah played played the same lists again um and this is interesting. I, I won't spoil which way it goes, but it was a close game. I think it finishes yeah. twenty to eighteen. Yeah, twenty to eighteen in the end. It's um, it's, it's really close. I don't know what else to say. Like it's a bit of a nail biter. Yeah, it's it's a good game. So uh, yeah, without that, uh, with without delay, should we uh, crack in with the lists? Yes. So I'll start off, and I'm running something like. Basically a bit of a variation. So I have got uh, Cad Bane in the Rogue with Notorious, Ion Cannon, Electro Chaff Missiles, False Transponder Codes, Engine Upgrade, and Xanadu Blood Title. General Grievous with Outmaneuver, Impervium Plating, and Solar Swan. A single Separatist Drone with Discord Missiles, Grappling Struts, and Independent Calculations. And Darth Maul in the Infiltrator with Malice, Hate, Proton Torpedoes, and the Scimitar Title. So yeah, a uh, bit of a, basically I've still got the Grievous and Cad from my previous one, but I've replaced Sunvac and a Separatist drone with Darth Maul. I kind of think that's a good replacement. I, I I think, it's one of those things actually, like, I don't think it's like super better, I just think it's different. Like, it, yeah. just, it makes the list play different. Uh, so I am continuing my tweaking of Republic. Uh, so I have still got Hound with Yoda, 7th Fleet Gunner, and Agile Gunner. Uh, I've still got Click with our three Besh Seismic Chargers, Delay Fuses, and Dedicated. Uh, still got Contrail with our three Besh Proxmines, Delayed Fuses, and Dedicated. Uh, Anakin I've tweaked slightly, so he's still running in the Eta with R2-D2 and Shield Upgrade. And I've put Malice on him. So, you know, all the dark side hate. Uh, and then I've replaced Killer with Stub. Who's the other Z95 on to try? Uh, stops I3, um, and his ability is uh, when you defend, if your revealed maneuver was even, you may roll an extra to evade dice. And when you perform a primary attack, if your revealed maneuver was odd, roll an extra dice. So, you know, depending on on how you play, he can get a bit more survivability, he can go in for that punch. Um, and then he's got eight points of loadout, so he's taking a shield upgrade. Yeah, Which I mean, makes him makes a 2-3, so yeah. So actually, it's, it's interesting because Stubb has, his ability is, let's let's just do the comparison, it's like Contrails, it's a manoeuvre based ability, but I think I actually like it a lot more because it's entirely reliant on what you do. Yes, and um, like, we Contrails is good. Contrails is good if it's right, but like, I feel I feel the problem with Contrail is like if you go for an initial joust, it's great because you know you're both probably doing straight maneuvers. But the moment you start turning, the chances of you matching up the exact one on the target you're going for are slim. It does happen, but no stubs, and we'll we'll talk about it in the game because there are quite a few times actually I specifically pick odd or even numbers to get that extra dice yeah. where I think it's needed. Uh, but yeah, um, so we are playing Assault at the Satellite Array. Um, and 
and we've set up our objectives in a great big cross, pretty it, much. It's the cross again. It. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. And then the rocks, uh, we've got two large debris and three, one large rock and three reasonably large rocks. Yeah. So, well, they, they essentially end up, sca- like, I place my, I place two of my objectives uh, next to uh, objectives, I maybe want my droid to sit on. So I get an, I get a rock near my O objective. Uh, I put a rock near the center objective, uh, and you basically cluster a bunch in yeah. like your bottom left corner. So the moment that you, I mean, you're always going to put one on your home objective, um, yeah. but the moment you put one with the center, I knew that's the best place for me to get a cluster, and that cluster kind of f- it, it limits where Maul can go. Yeah. Um, and to a certain extent, it limits um, Grievous in the sense that when Grievous focuses into a boost, which he likes to do quite a lot, he's got very limited blues. Uh, I believe just the two banks and straights. Two banks, two straights, three straights. Yeah. So... Like, if you can cut off, you know, or if one of the banks is cut off with an obstacle, you basically, he's going straight or he's going same yeah. right. And it's, it helps with that. Whereas playing playing against him in an open field just makes it trickier, I suppose. I don't think, I don't think either our lists are crippled by playing in the rocks or playing in an open open space. But yeah, I, can't, like, I, kind of... I think it. I think it hinders both of us to a certain extent. Like, obviously, Anakin is basically immune unless yeah. you ran out of force. But, but I felt um, the. I suppose the downsides for you were probably slightly more than me. But... Yeah. Yeah. So what we ended up was there's a large rock, um, or basically on short on the center line towards the left, next to basically the left hand of the cross of objectives we set up. There's a medium rock, about two and two uh, from the Sean's like left corner, and there's a large debris in the dead center just above Sean's home objective. And then so for my last thing, and this is me metagaming you slightly, is I placed a debris cloud out in the center, directly in front of the rock that I'm planning on parking a drone on, to prevent Anakin from just boosting five straighting and killing him. Which is what he you you've tried to do that sort of that sort of thing twice now in game so like well let's just place a rock here that'll make you think about it now interestingly that is what i did with anakin in the first game where i died quickly yeah um and you ambushed him although i say ambushed he got into a tight spot that he got out of to be fair but that i didn't need to put him in by taking that risk um so I wasn't going to do that regardless yeah. of where you put the rocks this turn um and when we get to six i'll explain why i put yeah. Anakin where I did, and why he should always be there when flying against this list. Yeah. But, like I said, that was my thinking. On this on this thing, where I know exactly where I want my drone to go, I, I was like, you know what, I'll use this last rock, rather than just you know, scattering it somewhere where it's not matter. Like, let's actually make Sean have a decision yeah. on whether he wants to just barrel down to where we both know the Separatist drone is going to go. Like, yeah, yeah. When I, when I place that rock there within range one of the home objective, we both know there's going to be a vulture droid sitting on there turn one and double calculating till the end of the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but as I am first player, uh, I... Which we out... definitely mentioned earlier. We definitely mentioned that earlier. Sean yeah. won the roll off. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> I put Hound out first anyway, because he's the only IT. Uh, and he goes down on the right-hand side where there's a nice lane of space. Um, but... Depending on where you set up, he's he's got easy turns to the left, uh, you know, if we're heading towards the centre. It, it's the best place to give me options. The centre and the left-hand side are kind of hindered by rocks, so that's why he went there. Uh, and then my I3, Stub, pretty much goes just slightly to the left of him, about a base and a half away. Yeah. Uh, and I deploy my separatist drone uh, about a two straight behind the my, the rock next to my home objective and telegraph that he's going to move onto that rock and sit there. Yeah. Uh, so Click goes down next, just to the right of um, Hound. He's going to target lock both Hound and Stub turn one to deny the rainbow range bonuses. Um, and then he's manoeuvrable enough that if he needs to move 
a different direction quickly, the V-Wing can do that. Uh, so then I play as Cad, like close to the Zebra's drone, in the, in the centre of the board, like so he can position to move into the centre uh, and go to the left or right, depending on where Contrail and Anakin goes. And Grievous parks himself in my uh, right hand corner, so the top, so the top, so the top left, if you're looking from Sean's perspective, and a 45 degree angle, basically ready to move into the centre. And what it's looking like at the minute is just flank where Hound and Stub are going to end up being about turn two. Yeah, uh, so I put Contrail uh, just to the left of centre, um, basically a lane into the middle of the rocks um, that's almost opposite CAD, but there's a rock on your side of the board, just your side of the centre objective. So I know that CAD can't really gun at me too fast because he's got to get past that left or right. So my thought here is move forward with Contrail um and then, you know, see what Cad's done. And, you know, I've got options to go left towards Grievous, go right towards the drone or mall if I need to. Um, and just get, leave myself options. Um, uh, and then I put my last ship, uh, Darth Maul, uh, in my far left, directly opposite Hound and Click. Um, ready to take that joust, because unless you drop Anakin there, I kind of feel like... The, Sim the Scimitar does okay into a couple of, like, I'm going to say relatively low damage ship. Like, it's not like you're throwing torpedoes back at me. I mean, honestly, even if Anna even if I stick Anakin there, you just leap forward and try and lock him. I mean, yeah, it's less likely to work on Anakin. I mean, if, 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 actually, if Anakin goes there, I probably don't take that because right. I can't lock the guy who's going to kill me. Yeah, but Anakin's not going to kill you in one turn, is he? True, but I, I keep, you with four shots... In a four on effectively one, because Grievous and Cad would not be able to help turn one. I would be like, actually, uh, we don't decloak forward, we turn away. Interesting. Just, um, just because it, it's, it's, le it's less that I'm afraid that I'm not going to deal damage, is that I think I'll take too much damage and then not yeah. have a good ter next turn. Yeah. Uh, but, but, but I do with Anakin what I should have done the first game. Uh, I put him on my far left, opposite Grievous, as far forward as I can. Because Anakin, I suppose, is, is is one of the best, not counters to Grievous, but he's incredibly manoeuvrable. He, um, you know, he moves after because he's got the initiative. Um, you know, Grievous has constantly got to be thinking about where Anakin is going. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's, that is it. So I put the cloak token onto Darth Maul. Because uh, yeah. why not? Random cloak. Always good. And, uh, and let's go. We go away. So my so so my plan here is basically I'm good Ma Maul is gonna try and catch Sean off guard because a decloak for straight can get a lot of space. And I decloak forward with Maul. Like I don't think this is particularly subtle, but I've got a proton torpedo and a ton of force. I knew you were decloaking yeah. and force rating. And so I I dialed in the slowest maneuvers I can. Um I mean I could I I'm trying to remember, I don't think I stopped with Ham, but I think I won straight, and then I two straight with the V Wing, because annoyingly it's a fast shit. Um But yeah, so Hound does a one straight uh, and coordinates a focus to Click. So that Click's got mods when he target locks Hound and... Yeah. And stop. Um, so, your droid does... So my things. droid does my droid thing. He does a two straight and he double calculates. He lands on the rock. He will stay... I think he... Does he stay there like the rest of the game? I think he stays there the rest of the game until he dies. Yes. Um, does, maybe I move off. I can't remember. No, I no, no. I don't believe he moves off the rock. Um, so, Stub does a two straight, um, and I very specifically picked the two straight, because I knew it was likely that Maul's coming in to try and get the Protorp. So if I can weather that... Well, I was hoping not to be in range turn one. And then that sets me up very nicely turn two for a three bank to the right. To hopefully, hoping you've come fast enough... That, although to be fair, even if you've one straight this turn and then one straight the next turn, I yeah. think you'd go past where he'd be, which would hopefully leave a nice range one extra dice because it's odd into the side of Maul. 
So that that was very much a play for his ability then, knowing that the next turn I can do that three bank and try and get the extra attack dice. Yeah. Where I didn't think I'd be under a whole lot of... The only person that's really going to threaten me is Maul. I don't think you get Cad and Grievous down there fast enough. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think, depending on what I do with Cad, he can definitely be around, but... I, th- I think it'd be... I mean, it'd definitely be obstructed because I'd be yeah. right next to the debris, so that's going to net me an extra green anyway. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, like, the, the the engagement that we all know is coming is coming. Oh, we should point out that you are first player this turn. That's why you draw yes, I am first player. Stuff. That's why my uh, droid means more stuff. So your fours go first. Yep, so Cad does a three bank and focus, and Grievous does a three bank and boost. Because yeah. uh, I see Anakin and I say, nah... Uh, Clip does his two straight uh, and locks Hound and Stub. Maul does a four straight, uh, reaches for a target lock, uh, and has both Hound and Click. So I take it onto Click because I figure if I put a torpedo into Hound, okay, cool. Like, admittedly, last game putting torpedoes into Hound was great. Uh, but where we currently are, I can't guarantee that I'll just so I'll get a, a free torpedo next turn. So I'm like, you know what? Let's see if we can just put a ton of damage into click. Yeah. Because that if makes, I if I, I I have I've got target lock at three force and malice and proton torpedo. There's probably going to be a bunch of crits, and if I can just luckily bonk him off the table. Yeah, for sure. I should at least um, put some damage through. No, no it's interesting as I say that I was try- I was trying to avoid that, and it was. It was in, but it wasn't, you know, it was just in. It wasn't yeah. millimetres, but it wasn't, you know, the closer edge of range three. Yeah. Um. So I think that's actually quite a good learning point for me, that if we lined this up again, I think turn one, I stop Hound, and I one hard click in front. Yep, that would definitely avoid the top. That would avoid the top, and doesn't really... Um, sc- sort of mess with my positioning too much because turn two I two straight over uh, click click with hound and then two hard with click and then can boost like what I wanted was to be just outside of range three this turn and then obviously jump into range one close range shots yeah because you've got your seven fleet gunner and everything well it's like that and yes you get you still get four dice at range one, but you're not getting that crit generation from the Protorps. Yeah. So, you know, that combo with Malice really is a a big combo, and I'm pretty sure that you fire both Torps, and there's at least two crits in both of them. Yeah. So, yeah, trying to avoid that. And if I can get the block, great. Um, but, uh, so we move on to the I-5. Uh, and Contrail, I think, did a three straight. Um, and because I've seen where you've gone, uh, boosts to the right. Because I think the next turn, a three bank clears the debris he's near. Um, and basically looking at range two, maybe range one on Maul. And I think I can... Hang on, I'm like... Hang on, I think I can get four... Four Got shots. S- yeah, certainly three shots and maybe a range zero shot. Um into the scimitar here. And if I can get rid of those shields and maybe plink some damage through, then happy days. Um, and we go to Anakin, who uh, did a three straight because I was just slightly concerned that Grievous... You know, you'd see where Anakin was and you actually decide to gun at Anakin because I think... On an initial joust, okay, you don't have your rerolls, but the fact you've got shields and three reds anywhere in the arc might slightly favour you. Yeah, I was actually just thinking like a straight joust actually probably favours me because I just have I have the health to take a hit. Yeah, uh, and you don't. And if the bullseye doesn't quite line up, I'm just throwing more dice at you. Yeah, exactly. I think the issue is is that if you don't kill Anakin, then then, then it like it's harder. over. Because yeah. if you if you if you turn around, you're stressed. Whereas I can just purple talon, or four K, and you know judge it so that I I'm near you, or you don't turn around and then I'm behind you. Yeah, that's so, what Grievous wants you the most. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, but I I do the three threat, and then I just boost to the right um, because it lines up a nice five straight in next turn. Because I think even if Grievous turns in on me, I can five straight, possibly barrel roll out of arc. But if I can't, then it will be, you know, it won't be like range one, you're lobbing four dice at me. Yeah. I've got the force, I've got a shield upgrade. But, yeah. So, uh, we go to the engagement. Uh, I put a proton torpedo into click. Put a proton torpedo into click. So I roll two hits, a focus and a blank, target lock the blank into a hit, then I force and malice for two more crits. Yeah. So, yeah, two crits, uh, two hits. Yeah, so forced malice and proton, that's the the, uh, yeah, the, yeah. the the second crit, yeah. So two hits, two crits. You uh, roll a single evade. I roll a single evade. So I take the shields and the crit, and I believe the crit is a damaged engine. So here's something for you. Oh, wait, no, sorry, no, never mind. You don't have dedicated to this list. I was just thinking, like, y the guy who has dedicated is the guy I'm shooting. Yep. No, 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 I could have dedicated... Well, I couldn't have. I do have dedicated um, on another ship, but it's Contrail, and I'm not in range. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, because that, I was just thinking, like, wait a second, yeah. there's two clones next to him. Did you yeah, misdedicate no. it? No, no, you didn't. No, um, Stub doesn't have de dedicated because I just used all his loadout points on a shield upgrade. Okay, um, and that's fair. Which is, you know, if if I had the points spare, he'd be on there, and maybe I drop the shield upgrade for for something to fit that in. But uh, uh, but yeah, so three yeah. damage into click. Three damage into click uh, and a damage engine. Yeah, no pilot crit, so I don't get the force back, which means no double tap. Oh. Uh, so, uh, click goes back into you, uh, because we skip past everyone else, because no one else has a shot, uh, for two hits. I roll a single of eight. Uh, and then Hound has a range three shot, uh, who rolls hit focus, and I burn my other force to make two hits. And I get a single of eight. So, that's so two, sh bam. two shields. Force back to full. <laughs> now, th the next... The next turn for me is really interesting because yeah. I have to block Maul. And I look at it and I think a straight manoeuvre slides past Hound. Yeah, so, so I look at this as well and I was looking at it from my angle like, I think it does, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, if, if I didn't think it did... I stop with him. And maybe I still stop because in hindsight, looking at it from the top down view, I don't think a 4k takes you takes you back far enough to shoot 5K him. 5k. Oh, maybe a 5k does? I, don't, I, don't, I think if you stop, I like land like next to you. And yeah. you maybe you have... I think we don't have an angle on each other unless you've uh, changed the... Change the so I, could, I could have agile gunned it. But my, my kind of thought process here is block you with click. Because the likelihood is Click's dying this turn anyway. He's got one health. You've got Cad coming in. Um, but if I can block you with Maul... Uh, sorry, if I can block Maul with Click, then that means Click's own... Uh, is taking a range zero shot from the only ship that can initiative kill him. Yeah. Um, what was my thinking there? Um, and I am an I am an ask so much about what manoeuvre to do here because I like if he does a five k, I'm like I'm pretty sure even like the two straight just jump you jump behind that, yeah. And then I worry you go slow, and then I really considered like doing like the three k. Okay, um, that would be interesting. And because I was thinking if you do the five k then at least I'm facing you. And then I'm like, well, what happens if you don't do the 5k? Then I'm, I, I might have blocked you, but I'm <laughs> facing away from you and and so on and so forth. Um, and it was one of those just like, okay, he could do this, he could do that. And in the end, I just went with what's he most likely to do? And I thought, it's either going to be a one straight or it's going to be something fast. And I can't block both of those. I think I can put myself in a position where I block a one straight and a three straight by catching each end, I suppose, of the yeah. of the base. And I think I just dial in a, a two, because I, that's where I think it puts me. 
But yeah, there were so many, so many choices on that one. Yeah, so for me, I was looking at it, I was like, I think I might slide past, but if I don't, Maul's completely buggered. And I would rather, like, in my head at the time, I was like, I would rather bump, take the focus, and then just shoot at whoever I've got. Yeah, yeah. Because Maul can still double tap at range zero. Like, no mods, but like, throwing lots of dice is throwing, throwing lots of dice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you've only got to plank one through, so... Yeah. Um, Leopard's drone, his his choice was very, very straightforward. He he dials in a three straight, which means he stays where he is, and he double calculates. <laughs> I can I can spoiler alert, you get that one for free, guys. <laughs> well, I mean, we've already said he doesn't go yeah. off the rock, so... Not, um, too, not too much of a spoiler. Yeah, so Grievous, I actually... My Grievous move in a bit was me like trying to be like... I reckon Anakin's going to come yeeting after Grievous, so let's try and catch him. Fair enough. Uh, um, so, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I win priority. Whoa. Yeah, you win priority. Uh, so I won straight with Click and take a focus. Yeah, because a Hound. I'm, a Hound, sorry. Because I'm hoping, as I say, to bump more with Click, and where Click's going to be is going to be ahead of Hound. So Hound's going to take uh, have that range one shot, is the hope. Uh, your drone stays where he is and double calculates. Yep. Net you those points. Uh, I do do the three bank with with um, Stub to get that, boy. get that range one shot. Uh, and he takes focus. Had, I believe, put in a four straight. Uh, and then I take a target lock onto Stub to pop the false transponders and get rid of that focus. Uh, Grievous does a one hard and barrel rolls to the right and takes focus. I'm trying to catch Anakin. If you've yeeted five straight, yeah, I didn't think I I didn't think you'd be able to get out of the arc that that presents. Or if you did, it means you weren't likely weren't doing much. Yeah. Um. So click does a four, uh, a two straight and focuses. Yeah, I do a one straight and bump into click, uh, and I take a red focus. And I'm going to say right now, this was a stupid mistake. Yeah. I think so, because it because I have the... because I have the force. Yeah, I have a lot of force, and the first time someone shoots me, if I have spent all my force on the attack, I'm going to get it back. So I don't need a focus for my one defense. <laughs> yeah, and it, it pigeonholes you into that corner because you can't turn yeah. around. So on the flip side, my thinking at the time is that. I'm more. I'm going to take the focus so I can attack, use the focus on offense, and use the two force to maybe get a second shot. Which is but fair. It, it, that's what I'm thinking. It's, I think, in hindsight, it's just dumb. Just, just don't. I shouldn't worry too much about it. I should just have the have all the force I want. Rely on malice to get me my um, force back, if yeah. possible. And not worried about having focus because being stressed is an absolute death penalty. Yeah. yeah. Because I do think I can survive in the situation where I'm taking uh, two range one oh, and a oh, range I think zero. You, I think you survive. Like, I, I have, I have the help. I have the. I, I definitely have the help to on odds survive, and the focus isn't going to change that. Yeah. Uh, but I do take it, and it's a mistake. Absolutely should have stayed on stress because if nothing else, next turn. Okay, maybe the five k is a little risky, but I can, I can three hard or three, yeah, oh, and do it, do an action. I can do anything. I mean, if you want to turn around, I think you sloop. Well, I could, if I, this is going into the future, but if I if I could want to do a sloop here, and how I don't want to risk Hound just stopping. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, um, moving on. Contrail. So Contrail uh, does the three bank round the debris um, and boosts, uh, trying to get range one, uh, links it into a lock for a stress. Uh, it's got R three, so he locks Maul and he locks Cad. Yep. Uh, and then Anakin, I think, did do a five straight. Um, because, like, with your, with your dial, I know you had the one hard, but that leaves you quite far towards your board edge, and anything faster is going to leave you further to yeah. the right, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I barrel rolled to the left um, here. Now, I could have barrel rolled to the right, and A, maybe that gets me range one of an objective... And B maybe gets me out of range of Grievous. But if you, I feel like, but if you didn't get out of range, you wouldn't have me in arc, and I'd effectively have a range two shot. But I've suddenly gained a target lock. 
And that is why I barrel rolled into Ark, because I felt yeah. like being at range two when you only have the focus mod is better yeah, than the outmaneuver be- shot. Yeah. Yeah, but it's better than it like it's it actually weird. Being in range two facing me is better than range three facing away. Yeah. Uh so yeah, I do that. And I think yeah, I think realistically range two with just a focus, it's unlikely you one shot Anakin. No, I'm not gonna one shot Anakin. Maybe plink the shields off, I reckon, is statistical. But if you plink the I'm quite happy if you plink the shield off because it's yeah. just R2D to it next turn. Yeah, so yeah. that's kind of you know Take those one damage but, and get them back. Yeah, but. it's it's just one of, it's one of those interesting things. Like it's sort of like plink the shields off. If he RTD two is great, Anakin's not doing it. Anakin's not doing an amazing shot next round unless he gets yeah. the hound, obviously. But which which he's not from where he is. Yeah, but uh, yeah, he, he's he's doing his job. He's keeping Grievous occupied and stopping Grievous using yeah. in on the rest of my list. Uh, but we go to the shooting, uh, and I nice. plink nothing into Grievous. Okay, so here I have an interesting decision point with more. Uh, I have range zero into click, who's on one health and has no defense. Uh, well, no, he has a, has a focus, and I have range one into hound, who has a focus. And I take the range zero into click because I'm just thinking I just need to plink off one damage. Like all I need is a slight high roll on my end and a s- slight low roll on yours, and we're Gucci. So I range zero into click. Yeah, which I think, to be fair, is probably the right call. It's what I yeah. do. So I roll hit uh, focus blank, and you roll single evade two blanks. Uh, I roll two blanks on a focus. Oh, two blanks so on a focus. Yeah. Okay. So I have to spend my focus to live. So, and so here, go. here's where I have a choice. Is I, I spend two force, and I have another go at click. Because more missed a shot, which means I can shoot the same target again. Because again, yeah. in my head, like, I should, oh, I need this one. And it'll do far more than range one into hound. Yeah. So I, uh, so I, I roll... I roll, uh, yeah, I, I roll single hit blank focus. Uh, Sean I, rolls one dice. Because I misheard <laughs> like, you. Uh, I misheard you and I thought you were going range one yeah. into um, Hound. Also because it's what I would have done. So it kind of, like, you yeah. know, that's self-firming. Oh, that's what he's doing. I roll a blank. Uh, and then you're like, no, you've got more dice. It's it's click. I'm like, okay. And I roll two evades. So. Yeah. So click, click lives. He survives I, uh, I5. But and I still think I still think what I did is fine. I I, I think... I don't think it's I, necessarily like, wrong. I don't yeah, think I, there is a wrong answer there, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, like, I, I'm looking at this and thinking, like, shooting into Hound, plinks, like, take, okay, I have mods, and I can Malice, bloody bloody blah, blah, blah. But, like, I, I, to me, taking the shield and doing a bit of damage to Hound is not as useful as maybe I just deal one damage to click. Yeah. And also, in hindsight, and I didn't think of that as at the time, but if you had gone into ha- uh, click, what I, sh- what I should have done, what I would have done was just clicked you. Well, you couldn't you. have, right? What? Oh, you mean no, no, no. you've so gone, gone into hand instead of yeah, click, yeah, yeah. I would have clicked you to deny the yeah. range one. So I'm three dice either way. Yeah. And now, now, obviously, had Maul killed click at the first one, I go into hand, and you still click me, because it's the art uh, thing. Yeah. yeah, but... yeah. Uh, but uh, we go to my i5, uh, and I haven't quite made range one with Contrail, uh, so it's just the two dice. Um, you're seven I... Fleet Gunner, I think, don't you? Uh, I do. I'm an R about Seven Fleet Gunner, and I spend it here um, because I haven't got anywhere else to spend it, basically, because um, Stubbs are already going to be rolling four dice, and I can't mod clicks. So yeah, we seven fleet for the three, uh, and I roll crit crit hit out of hand. I roll a single evade. Uh, so that's the last of the shields gone. Yep, clink blink. Um, so at that point, I'm quite happy because even if I'd lost click, getting the shields off Maul, yeah, I, I always find is quite important. And he's eight points, so I can lose two three point ships in killing him and still come out ahead. Um, that you can. But the fact that I've still got. Stub and and um, Hound's shot to go into him. I'm I'm quite happy at this point, basically. Uh, but we go on to the I fours. Oh, Cad, shoot my arm cannon at click. Uh, two hits and a focus, nothing. Because you blank yeah, it. Yeah, two evades. Um, again, I I don't think that's the yeah. wrong call. Just getting that no. one damage through is. Yeah, it's just it's just it, it is what it is. It's like. In another game, 
click dies to like it's one of those things like it i i don't think i think i'm making the right choices and that's fine with me well, oh i i fully think for this turn the green the green dice save click he he yeah. should have died on the average dice i'm gonna give a spoiler alert to our viewers the green dice giveth and then they take the way or more likely they giveth to me <laughs> they giveth and giveth <laughs> and giveth and giveth uh but yeah uh anyway grievous into anakin uh what do i i don't, I don't think i do anything with this attack i think uh, i don't dice. believe so you get uh, two, two hits, hits. And you spend a force spend to two evades. Yeah, spend a force to evades. And I get my wandering dice up because it's back to the mall train. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have got uh, clicks Maybe. range zero. Click. Yep. Uh, I roll an evade. Does nothing. Uh, stubs range one with the extra dice to four. Uh, I roll two hits and a crit. Uh, I fire convergence the blank into an eyeball. Uh, Good thing which... I got rid of that focus of yours. Yep. But I still know I'm putting at least hit crit yeah. through. I roll an evade, though. So I put hit crit through. Um, and the crit is a stunned pilot. And then hound range once. Um, this was quite lucky. I got one hit and two eyes. The fact it was all paint, because obviously I can't fire convergence myself, was uh, was quite nice. So that's three. So that's another two through. And more so I roll one. a blank. All three... Yeah. Go through. I'm down to one health on more. And like, oh baby! Yeah. At this point, I'm like, okay, I just need to get a couple of shots on Maul, and then something's gonna gonna plink through. That, at, at this point, I was like, well, that's game. <laughs> and I look and looking at my focus token that I still have. <laughs> yeah. Thinking, well, that was stupid. Um. But yeah, I, I, there's a couple of interesting decisions here that I think, or there's one that I think is wrong. Because where CAD is, um, so for people who aren't watching the YouTube, uh, Maul is basically bumped with Click a third of the way up my right-hand side. Hound is just in front of him to the left, uh, and um, Stub is to his left looking 45 degrees because I did a bank. Um, pretty much on his centre line, and Contrail is um, 90 degrees to him in his flank. Um, and then above that, maybe three ship bases above Contrail is uh, Cad basically looking down at my entire list at a 45 degree angle. So I look at this and, and think, Chaff Cloud's coming. You know, it's... I don't want to say obvious, but I mean, it it is obvious. It, uh, it would be a high value chaff cloud, even if we even even if we both see it coming. It looks like it's going to get quite a bit of value. Exactly. Um, now I, I was about to say I don't care about chaff clouds. I do care about chaff clouds, but I care about them less if Anakin was down there with his force. Um, but fire convergence also kind of helps against helps. that. So I'm still like, okay, I've got to accept that quite a few of my ships are going over this chaff cloud. I still need to just get as many guns on Maul as I can. Because at this point, Maul's not turning around because he's stressed. So it's incredibly unlikely that he's shooting. I don't think you're coming off the rock with Droid. And Grievous is busy, like, with Anakin. So realistically, for my other four ships, the only shot they're likely taking is Cad. Yeah, and quite frankly, I'm happy to lose a single one of these ships to trade for more. So, yeah, but we'll get into it. In, um, in other news, uh, I gain a point by the way from the separate throne because oh, yep. somehow Maul and Cad are both like just slightly beyond range <laughs> one of the far right objective. It is close. Uh, at that point, we remember that, or uh, well, I remember that Contrail's got stress because he boosted into a lock. So put that, because that's vitally important. And I don't even bother to remove my calculates on the drone. <laughs> until I ha You have this done. Because <laughs> I'm just like, well, he's getting them again. Uh, so, system phase, I win priority again. Uh, and I oh, launch Jaff Cloud. Yeah. Uh, and with a free it, bank. And, and it, it touches Contrail. It's fine. Uh, he ja he loses both his blocks, which is a little sad. He takes a jam, uh, and he rolls and does not get a stress. 
Um, and I think that's it. Uh, so Hound goes first. Uh, Henny does a two straight because he had to jump over the edge of um, a stub, basically. A one straight would have self-bumped. Um, so I did a two straight. I land on the chaff, um, which is fine. I've got the force for mods for him. Um, no fire convergence, but I know that my rear, my turret, is facing front back. I'm likely getting a shot on wall, so I'm yeah. okay with that. That's that's fine. Um, he does take a stress, but that's not the end of the world because he's sitting just below a an objective, um, and he's likely to be the only medium base, so he's going to score double for that. Not score double, but be worth double. He's the kingpin of X wing. <laughs> um, and also, next turn, a one straight removes the stress and leaves him range one still, if that leaves him almost on top of it. So that that's fine with me. Um, you My separate run rotates to face Anakin. It's the duel of the ages. And double calculates. Um, Stub does a... I think it's a three hard. Uh, because I'm trying to block Cad, basically. Here. Makes sense. Um, and yeah, it takes a jam, um, takes a stress. Uh, but I'm fine with that. Again, I'm fine with that because my next turn is going to be a three straight because it's blue, it's odd, and it leaves me probably range one of your droid on the rock. Yeah, I think you're good for that it's, one. It's, not, it's my plan. Um, I don't bother with a focus or anything because yeah. you got jammed. Uh, so Cad just does a one bank uh, towards the shaft cloud, bumps into Stub and takes a red focus because I there are targets in front of me and Cad does not have the force like Paul does, so he would quite like a defensive mod if possible. Yeah. Um, and then Grievous. Grievous does a three straight boosts and focuses into the center of the board, basically trying to join this massive cluster mess that's happening. Yeah. He says, "I I have I have traded with Anakin. I have shown that I am the dominant one. Time to leave." Um, Click just does a 3k? Four, no, it's more than that. It's a 4 okay. or 5. It's the larger of the two. Cause that's okay. just, yeah, because that's more than a ship space, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's got, I can't remember, I think they've got a I th no, I think they've got a 2 and a 4, so it's the 4. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, because, again, I just need to get that arc on on Mo. I I was expecting to probably be in Cad's arc, but he can't initiative kill me, so that's fine. Uh, now we go to Contrail, and I make a mistake to Maul. Oh yeah, sorry, Maul. So let's do Maul. I do a. I believe that is a one bank clear the stress, yep. and I cloak. Uh, makes sense. Extra evade. That might be the first time ever Darth Maul has used the cloak action. Ah, uh, you've used it against me before. Not With often, Dooku. admittedly. Alright, uh, yeah, okay, fair. fair. Uh, uh, to be, yeah. No, to be fair, that cloak saves you a lot. Yes. So, it's... I, I think now Maul's job is to try and keep his eight points rather than... It's a very hard <laughs> job. It's like, at this point, I'm like, why is this man not Dooku? I want to do shenanigans. Now, what 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 I should have done with, here with Contrail is too hard to the right. Down after where Maul was going to end up. Down after where Maul's going to be. If I'd moved first, then I too hard to the right, and I barrel roll in front and try and block. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and if I too hard now, easy I, shot. I, I easy shot. I take a target lock. I lock Maul. That gets jammed away because I have a jam, and then yep. I acquire a lock with R three on Maul. Yeah. So. Or if it, I can't remember exactly wording on R three, but if R three is it must be a different object. I lock CAD first, that gets jammed away, yeah. and then I, I lock like you lock a rock first. It doesn't yeah. matter what you lock. Yeah, exactly. You get two locks. Uh, but I don't because I'm an idiot, and I my thought process was hmm, I'm going to block CAD. I might be able to get a good shot on him with a couple of my ships. Uh, so I actually too hard to the left, which goes over the chaff cloud, bumps into Hound, lands on the chaff cloud. So I lose the ja uh, I lose the stress, but because I've remained range zero of it, I retake everything basically. So the jam comes back. I roll. I get a second stress. Uh, well, I don't get a second stress. Sorry, I stay stressed because I relieve the stress and yeah. then 
got it back. And you and you take uh, a damage. Uh, do I? Oh, because yeah. of the self bump. Yeah, because of the self bump. So yeah, that that was so not. I was so stupid of me. It is. I sh I should have just. You know, I did. I did. I don't mind the using stub for the bump. But, you know, Hound's where he is to get a shot on Maul. Click is where he is to get a shot on Maul. I should have turned Contrail down to try and get a shot on Maul. Yeah, because, like, it's like, like you said, like, Maul is worth eight points, and he's on one health. Yeah. And, okay, maybe you... I don't know, like, it's one of those things, like, maybe you're not expecting the cloak or how effective, like, the or getting... But, like, it's a relatively it's it's a relatively easy kill, and it only gains you. Like, because uh, Contrail going up this way, like... It's an extra two dice into a seven, uh, extra two or three dice into a seven hull ship with two with two greens. Yeah, exactly. Um, Anakin does a two bank because I wasn't sure where you'd go with Greedus. I didn't know if you'd um, bank and then boost to try and catch him, and I wanted to go slow. They don't have a one bank, um, and then I look where he's landed, and my first instinct was to barrel roll to the left and try and line up the bullseye on the Scepter's drone. Um, but I wasn't sure if it jumps over. And looking at it now, I think it would have lined it up. Um, but I look at it and go, hmm, a boost to the right might line that bullseye up into the back of CAD. Bad. Um, so I opt for that. I know that I'm taking a shot from the droid, um, but it's a range two shot. I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, I do the boost and it swings the bullseye around way too far. Need to get need to get better at lining up the bullseyes. Yeah. But by the same extent, I'm also not unhappy because I've got good positioning for the next turn. Um so yeah. Uh um, so I put a Discord missile on you. Because if you're gonna ignore me, I'm gonna at least send my friends to you. Yeah, so I have to admit, I, I completely forgot about the the Discord. Although as I say, I expect it to be a little bit further closer to your droid because I thought yeah. it might line up the bullseye which obviously then I think the three bank would have jumped over that yeah it, it, it'd be a close one but that'll teach me uh, so I don't have the bullseye and I think it was a range three shot into CAD so I'm just like yeah we'll shoot the droids yeah uh, I roll plenty yeah. of paint so you put your bullseye into the droids like it's one thing <laughs> I can't decide if it was good or bad. I think I think I like putting it on the front actually. Now I think it's my reason was like if Anakin chooses to shoot the drone, he's not shooting CAD. And yeah. I mean again in one of those situations where multiple of your ships can shoot one of mine, so let's try and make him shoot something else. Yeah. I think I think if Anakin didn't have the shield upgrade, I'd argue putting it on the back to guarantee the crew. Oh, yes. If if he didn't have a shield upgrade, st strap it on the back. If I randomly get direct hit, hell yeah. I mean, not even if you randomly get direct hit, yeah. you get damage sensor array. That scuppers yeah. all my system phase stuff. And then combined with the droid shoots you as well. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if you got a structural damage. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. But no, I think putting it on the front when the shield is there is probably the right yeah. call. You've cost me a shot. Um, yeah. Uh, so we go to the fives. Uh, uh, Maul has no shot as he is cloaked. Uh, and Contra has no shot because I bumped. Uh, so we go to the fours. So Greaves has no shot, and I have range zero into stub, range one obstructed into contrail, and range one into hound. And I actually can't remember who I decide to shoot. I, I feel like I might go into contrail. I think you go into contrail. Uh, yeah, with my primary gun. Yeah, and it, look, it looks like I'm picking up four dice, so... Which was interesting. Yeah. I was surprised, I have to admit. So the reason I went into contrail is very, basically simple. Range one with my gun. You've taken a damage from the bump, and you have no defensive mods. Yeah, that that was basically it. Uh, I get hit crit. Uh, I don't think I have to spend the focus for that one. I didn't see what I flipped it from. Uh, uh, you get single evade. Uh, I get evade focus blank blank. Uh, I check for dedicated on click, uh, and I have range, so I dedicate a blank into an evade. And nothing happens. Dodge that, uh, and click takes a strain. Yeah, because my my thinking here is like Maul is, in my head Maul is dead basically. Yeah, like you've got two shots, like you've got a decent chance of killing him. So I'm like I need you to start dealing damage. Um, stop range zero, and you've got five health. Hound, 
not worth it when I'm shooting with a two dice gun at the minute. So I was like, well, let's take range one into Contrail. It is a rare time where you have no defensive mods other than dedicated, I guess. So let's just see if we can start flicking some damage through. Yeah. Um, so we get to my four and I have a range three into Maul, uh, but rolled nothing. Uh, uh, I fire Convergence into, into two, two crits. crits. Uh, I roll two of eight and a focus. Here come those green dice give a thing. Yeah. Um, Cloak is a powerful ability, guys. Um, so your Seppi droid goes into Anakin uh, for two hits. two hits. Uh, I spend force for two of eight. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Um, then we go to Stub. Uh, and Stub uh, goes range zero into Cad. Um, I armed an odd about the droid, but it was three obstructed, um, so I didn't see the, the point. Uh, and I just rolled focus blanks and nothing there. Uh, how range one's out the back interval, I get hit focus focus. I spend both my force, because I just need to get that one through. Um, one blank and he's dead. I roll three of eights. And you roll three of eights. And yeah, like salty Sean entered the chat at this point. I mean, come on, <laughs> <laughs> that was some above average dice stats. Yeah, well, it makes up a click not dying. <laughs> click of the dive. Um, but yeah, so yeah. but more's alive. <laughs> more's alive. But more still stressed. <laughs> and um, on health and cloaked. And cloaked. Um, and Anakin's actually in a reasonable position to come in down towards Maul. Also because of where Grievous is. Like, as I say, Grievous is doing a two-bank. Well, he ain't two-banking to the left because that rock's in the way. You don't know where I'm going. Oh, fine. If you two-bank to the left, you're going <laughs> to land on that rock and then I'll, I'll just park in front of you range one and be like, shoot me. Oh, you can't. So you're either going straight or, or right and you're probably going straight and then boosting in. Um, so I reckon I can just two bank and basically be on top of wherever you are, and then come down towards Maul, um, and then I'm going to run click after Maul as well because yeah, Cad's probably going to chase him, but there's not much I can do about that, and you can't initiative kill me. Um, and yeah, as I said in the the previous turn, Stubb's going to go after your droid. At this point, Contrail's probably going to turn in after him because it's just the best place for him to go. Um, and Hound's going to go straight to get rid of the stress and park on the objective. Speaking of, uh, we do some points. Uh, and we I get one point each. One apiece. So, uh, yeah, after turn three, it's one and two. Yep, Separatist Drone has got his points back. He can die now. <laughs> I, I very nearly, I have to admit, consider one hard into the left with Anakin. <laughs> and just I was honestly a little surprised he didn't just, like, blat him out of existence. Blat him out of existence. It, it was... It was... Ten but I just felt the the opportunity to get the bullseye onto Grievous. Yeah, that's was, was Was too, too hard to ignore. Um, but yeah. But I... I make lots of umming and ahhing about what I do with Maul, and I think what I'd end up doing is fine and a mistake at the same time. It's one of those. So yeah, I I decl. This is this is this is where I win priority, which means I'm my system phases first, and both Contrail and Maul are I five. Uh, so I have to decloak before Sean decides if he wants to drop a prox mine. Um. I forgot he had prox mines right up until it came to the system phase, and he said, I have things at I-5. And I was like, well, crap. I have to decloak, because the three straights I've dialed in go straight off the board if I don't <laughs> decloak. So let's decloak, and I decloak to the right, directly next to Contrails, and like slightly sticking out of his back, oh. and as far back as I can uh, to try and dodge this mine. But I, in my head, I'm like... Well, I'm dead. Let's just accept my fate. And I, so I decloak and I start. He says, I'm dropping the prox mine. And I start pulling damage cards and rolling dice, assuming he's dead. And then you put the prox mine down. So, and it. Oh, it's. it's and it misses. <laughs> so it, it goes. And 
the proxmine goes like over if Maul was further forward by a couple of mils, like it almost reaches like a quarter into his base, just too far forward. Yeah. So, if so uh, if if decloaking backwards had been blocked by my chaff cloud, I would have landed on the proxmine and died. Yeah. Uh, but decoding backwards did actually. I land like just the way because the the proxmine curves away means that it just doesn't hit me. And as long as I've dialed in a straight faster than a one straight, I'm You're good. Fine. Which yeah. I have done because the reason I had to decloak was because there's a faster than a one straight incoming. Yeah. Uh, so I had already dealt damage cards, and then I was just like frantically, like, uh, and I'll put them back now because it turned out I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, we're all still alive. I have to actually think. Uh, so Hound does his two straight uh, and takes focus. My Severus drone rotates on the rock and double calculates. He's ready to catch Anakin no matter where Anakin goes. Uh, Stubb does his three straight, clears his stress, takes focus. Grievous does a two straight, boosts and focuses. So he's basically lining up like an, an, an outmaneuver arc on a bunch of your ships. Not the greatest of ranges, but he's fine. Um... Cad. Cad does a one bank. I'm trying to catch Click at this point at all costs, so I just take a focus because I'm pretty sure that Click is going to be in the arc unless you like yeet really fast forwards. But well, then I Click can... isn't shooting them all, so I'm That's fine. That's the problem. Actually, in hindsight, I wonder whether it. Because I did a two bank with um, Click, which yeah. puts him as close to behind Maul as I can um, and facing exactly the same direction. Yeah. I know you're likely not turning to the right. Because you would have gone, I'm turning to the right, Maul's dead because of that proxmine. Yeah. Um, so the likelihood is I've got a shot. Uh, so I take a target lock uh, and I lock um, Cad and Maul. Um, I do actually wonder whether a three straight boost into a lock might have been the better call. So it, that, that call, you would have to have called that I was decloaking. I think the three straight. I think I think it's. I think the three straight would have been fine. I, I don't think you could have boosted if I hadn't no, decloaked. But the th uh, which is true. Um, yeah. But I think the three straight would have guaranteed me out of Cad's arc because yeah. you weren't coming over the chaff cloud because you're going to bump into Contrail. So you know you're always turning through that gap. Um. But uh, it's one of those 50-50. I still think I made yeah. the right call. Yeah, 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 I think the two bank's the right way. Um, I, th I think the two bank's the right way. Like, but, but like Maul is the money, and Cad can't yeah. initiative kill you. Yeah. So I do a three straight to clear the stress and cloak again. Um, Contrail uh, does a two hard, jumps over Cad, uh, clears the stress, uh, and takes target locks. Uh, and he locks... Um, your Sept Destroyed and Grievous. Uh, and then Anakin does a two bank. Yeah. Is nicely range one bullseye on on Grievous. Uh, and I think I just take a yeah. focus. Yeah. So for anyone who's counting Sean's prox mines, Cad Bane is at a perfect position to be have a prox mine dropped onto him right now. Yeah, thanks for that. I was I was thinking about that like a second ago when I dropped the first one, going, when did I drop the second one? And I was like, oh, I didn't drop the second one, did I? Like, I wonder if the opportunity arose where I should have dropped... Yes, yes, it did. <laughs> but, uh... Well, actually, no. I'm not sure, because I think... That... No. Do I not... No, the do I not do... It, it'll... Because it'll... You're, cause you're at that angle, you're at almost 45 degrees, it's, yeah. it's smaller... That's larger than the one straight ruler. So no, no. Been... What I was wondering is like, is it? Do I not kill click and trigger uh, Cad's ability to get out? Is that why? Maybe is that why you don't drop it? Didn't you boost? No, you just took a lot. I, I, all I did was all I did was take a focus. But I anyway, moving a, on, we'll find out in a second. I think a one straight boost would still do it, and then it puts you perilously close to the edge of the. Well, I was thinking bank, but yeah. What to the left? To the left, because I was if, if click is dead, there's no reason for Cad to not go to the left after hound, right? Well, yeah. That's true. But anyway, let's find out what happens because I don't remember. I feel like I might have just target locked. Uh, so, Anakin range ones into uh, Grievous uh, and rolls two hits, two blanks. I roll a evade and a blank. Solus one re-roll into a blank, so I take a shield. Uh, then we jump to my five because yours doesn't have a shot. 
uh, and I range three into obstructed into your droid. Just checking for yep. hound for um, fire convergence. Yep. Uh, so it's a, it's at this stage that separatist drone is basically a tie defender. Um, but I roll hit blank, so I bash my lock for two hits. I roll two evades. Uh, I think you rolled evade focus because you. It looks like I rolled evade focus because I spent the calculator. Yeah, you might be right there. Either uh, way, still alive. You. Looks like you Ion evade cannon. one. To... Yep. Ion cannon into click. You click it to get rid of the range one, uh, but I finally put a damage through. Yeah, uh, and that is click dead. Still alive for the moment. Uh, then Grievous has a range three out maneuver into Contrail. That's cool. That's still three for me. Yep. So um, I get one hit, two focuses. I spend my focus for three hits. I get an evade and two blanks. I use dedicated on click because hey, he's dying. Uh, yep. I roll it into a blank, so I take two damage. I just realised I like. I think I've even forgotten to trigger Cad Bane's ability off killing Blake, or I've, t I've I or I've taken done something else. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Um, but then I have um, click shot into Maul. Uh, yep. And I get two hits. Uh, I think I've beshed for one. Yep. I'm range three with a cloak. I roll two of aids and two blanks. Maul lives again. Uh, so that's the end of the fours. So click dice. Um, so the threes. Yep. So I go uh, into contrail here. Yep. Uh, range three, sense. range three of uh, not obstructed because you're the droid. Yeah, I spend, I get hit crit. Oh, that's why I didn't prox mine <laughs> because he kills. Contrail rolls, focus triple blank. Yeah, okay, right. that's that. That's why uh, because he died. Yeah. Uh, I again I forget to trigger Cad Bane's ability. I then range one into your droid. Uh, I fire convergence for three hits. I get two evades in a blank. I take a damage. Oh. Bloody green dice gither. <laughs> uh, yeah, but... <laughs> and then I range two into your droid, because I'm trying to plink it off, uh, and I roll two hits with Hound. I get one evade and three blanks. Take a damage, one left. So one health is the theme for my list today. Uh, 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 we score points. Uh, and you score two, I score one. Yep, uh, I'm ten two. <laughs> I'm ten two behind. Yeah, but it's not really behind. Like if the t if the game ended now, it looks awful. But there's a one health Darth Maul who brings you up to ten, and a one health Separatist who brings you up to twelve. And I don't have easy access to kills like you do. Hound is still full health, so is Stub and Anakin. Yeah. Yeah. Now my my mission here is Anakin has got to kill Maul. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I reasonably I get reasonably aggressive with it because. Um, I can, I can initiative kill him. Uh, but we roll for priority, and I'm first player. Uh, so system phase, uh, hound. Sorry, end phase of the last turn, I'd rotated my turret with Agile Gunner. Uh, and then system phase, he takes a disarm to recharge 7th Fleet Gunner. Because I'm reasonably sure that Stub will get a shot onto the droid, and I want to punch him. I think I'm looking at Hound. It looks like Cad Bane has a lock on him, so I must have triggered it last round on one of the kills to take a lock, which is very lucky that Contrail did die because I should have boosted yeah. to the left and then be, be like being ready for a one hard back into the fight eventually. Yeah. Um, so Hound does a stop because it leaves me close to the objective, and I was hoping that if you turned up with Cad, you'd overshoot. Yep. Um, Makes sense. And and then Stub does a 4k? I'm trying to remember exactly what's on the one of the k's that's on I think it's the 4k that's on the Z95 uh, which leaves me a nice range one shot into the Sept Destroyed. I, predicting your manoeuvre, rotate 90 degrees and double calculate. Cool. I mean, I've got to get one know. through to kill you, you've got to get five <laughs> through to kill me, so... You know what, you've had to get one through on Maul for the past two turns to kill me, I think I'm doing alright. Yeah, alright, thanks for that, sir. Throw the shade. <laughs> Uh, you do the one hard, and I, I mean, you've got to admit that's damn close to a bump, so... Yeah, one hard with oh. Cad, take a focus. Uh, yeah. And then Grievous also does a one hard, bumps into Anakin. But I'm kind of okay, because I can shoot a stub at the very least. Yeah. Uh, still stressed, though. Still stressed. Uh, then Maul. 
does a one bank, clears a stress, and takes a focus because the scimitar's actions are actually kind of limited. Um, Anakin does a two straight, uh, keeps the bullseye. All right, it's through a rock, but yeah, uh, and spends a force to take a target lock. Yep, makes sense. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to use it this turn, but it's there for other turns. And this this fight between Maul and um, and Anakin, it's not happening anywhere near Hound, so I'm not getting no support yeah. there. So. Uh, but I take the range three. Uh, so two. I have hits. five dice in the scimitar. This feels so good. Two hits of the focus. Uh, I spend the force uh, to malice for a crit. I roll one evade, three focuses, and a blank. Spend my focus for four evades. And he's still alive. At least this roll was slightly more statistical. Yeah, I have to spend fair. mods. <laughs> but still three rounds longer than he should have been. I mean, probably still. In the meanwhile, I'm like, why are we not running out of time? Uh, Cad Bane shoots an iron cannon into Hound, uh, two hits and a crit after a focus, so Hound rolls an evade, so single damage, single ion. Yeah. Uh, you range three into stub with Grievous. Yep. Yeah. Uh, roll nothing. nothing. Uh, I range one into your Separatist droid with stub. Uh, oh yeah, it's just checking for thing. Um, I'm guessing from the fact that I uh, have got picked up four dice, it was in fact the 3k, not the 4k. Yep. Because um, I've got four. Uh, I roll one hit and three focuses. I fire Convergence into two hits and a crit. So he's dead. I roll blank focus and die. But not before you get to shoot back. That is true. I do in fact get to shoot back. Uh, uh, so I my but... my drone dies, so my cad cad bane triggers his ability and boosts. Is there a range on that? Zero to three. Zero to three. I, I'm not questioning whether yeah, you're yeah. in range. I was just curious if there was. Yeah, a it's range zero on. to three. Uh, and then I take the range one back. Oh, into stop. Right. No. So I did do the four K because I've got three um, green dice. The reason I had four dice is I seven fleet gunner. Okay. That makes sense. Well, now we know it's a four K. No, we know it's a 4k. Uh, so I get two hits into stub. Um, and I get two of those. Doesn't do anything. See, we're both getting good greens. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mine just that, feel worse. That That's worked out quite well for me in the sense that killing... Okay, killing the droid nets me two points, but it then leaves the top objective uncontested. So I get a point there. And then because Hound's beating out Cad for that right-hand one, it's for once 2-1 in my favour. Yep. So it's 11 for 6. 11 uh, for and six. let's be realistic, there's only so much time before more dies. <laughs> well, I, I I, am an R here a, 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 a lot with what to do with Anakin. Because I know where Maul's going. Although, I did think, hmm, I wonder if he decloaks in 5Ks, or, or just 5Ks. And I was like, because a part of me was like, if I barrel roll to the left, I'm pretty sure I can bank in between um, the prox mine and the debris, and then boost after Maul, and then stay range one of the bottom objective. Yeah. Um, but I was like, yeah, I might line up bullseye, but that's probably going to leave me no mods. Whereas, uh, oh, the center, I've already got a target lock in hindsight. Remembering that, but it's like if I barrel roll to his right and then come in, then I don't think there's any way you can go that I can't get you bullseye and probably at a closer range. Yeah, and I, I'm like either he's. I thought going to the right and being more aggressive because either you cloak or you stay cloaked and then you're not shooting me, or you decloak. And then you've only got one green, and I'm likely then going to initiative kill you. Yeah, well, that's the interesting thing. Is like in this situation, I can't ever not be cloaked. Like in my head, because Maul's value right now is just being an eight point bank. Yeah. So unless Anakin decides that Maul's not worth it, which in what world would you ever do that? <laughs> um, like Maul's staying cloaked for as long as he's alive, and I've just got. And my hope is Cad and Grievous can like kill Hound and Stub. And then at least force a 2v1 before the points run away. Yeah. Because um, in a 2v1, I think I actually have a chance because 
neither one of my gut the cad or grievous like if i can just make sure one of them gets a shot around like they're both not really ignorable yeah um we roll off and it's back to you being first player yep it doesn't really matter anymore because we don't share initiatives but that's cool uh and i do system phase barrel roll to the right i go with the aggressive um, Hound does a one bank to the right towards the board edge because I'm trying to block Cad. Yep, makes sense. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure it's still going to leave um, Grievous in arc. Um, I've I've taken the disarm to recharge Seventh Fleet again. Um, and then Stub, I think, does a three straight. It looks like a two straight. It might be a two. Yeah, it might be a two straight. Um, to basically, I'm hoping that Grievous is turning in after Hound to try because I did think you'd expect the the turn towards the board edge. Yeah. So I was thinking well, if, I didn't expect the turn towards the board edge to be fair. So I was thinking if if he's sending Grievous in to try and get on the flank, which Grievous is more than you know a two bank boost into a a focus. You know, ho hopefully I can catch Grievous in the side. And worst case scenario, you've come far enough that yeah, we're range one of each other, but we're both in each other's arcs. Yeah. And then, obviously, I still have Fire Convergence and Seven Fleet, so... Uh, so I just take a Shock. focus. Uh, so Cat does a one bank and bumps into uh, Hound, and Grievous does a two bank, which bumps into Stub. Yeah, see, it's uh, like I thought it'd be a, it would be a little further down, so... Yeah. So I believe neither of them take the red focuses. Doesn't look like it. Because I'm kind of safe where I am. Like, Hound's not shooting, and Stubbs, like, two dice into two dice, fine. Yeah. Uh, Maul does a 5k. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and Anakin does his two bank, uh, which lines up the bullseye lovely, uh, and I just boost to get that range one. Yeah. The irony is, uh, if I had turned into Anakin, Maul probably lives. Or he's had a decent shot, shot at living, because yeah, I reckon you bumped I, I reckon it would have bumped. But yeah. I had no way of knowing where Anakin was going to go. Um, realistically and had it not bumped giving you range one is stupid yeah that's fair um so i roll three hits and a blank uh i spend the lock uh, to a focus and i manage for a crit so you've finally done it he's definitely I'm, dead i'm like yes i don't care how many of you <laughs> rolled this time uh, to be fair, you roll I, I, two rolled, again. I roll two so i take hit crit uh i don't think it was a pilot crit so you didn't get force back no um, looks like you range <laughs> zero into. Yeah, I range three into um, Hound. Uh, must Grievous. Oh, uh, must be range two because I'm only rolling one green. Okay. Because you definitely don't have that maneuver. Oh. And then Cad range zero into um, Hound. So I take off one damage each. Yep. Um, stop. What do I do with stuff? I'm trying to remember. I think I go... Yeah, I go range three into CAD. Because you get the extra dice from your move. I get the extra dice. Um, and I've got a focus. I'm not getting shot at anymore. Um, so it's like two on... Okay, you've got no defensive rerolls either, but it's two on two with no mods. Or three on three with mods. Well, mods for me. I think you've spent... Or, no, uh, I didn't have the a focus. focus. Yeah. yeah. So at least it's a, a mod versus a, a no mods. Um, and I roll hit crit crit out of hand. And I blank out. All the evades are gone. More took them all up. Uh, and it's a damaged engine on CAD, which is a little annoying. Yeah. Um, and then I think um, I just do a range three shot out the back with Hound. Into... You're disarmed. I am disarmed. <laughs> do you take you do take a damage there actually that is a damage ne neither of us picked that one up like i just realized hang on yeah. you're disarmed <laughs> yeah i, I don't think it that. matters in the end uh we'll, we'll clock that we'll see where um where grievous is if it, i'm pretty sure he doesn't end up on one health does he i'm pretty so. sure it doesn't matter yeah that is quite interesting uh, like you yeah we both missed completely that. missed that yeah <laughs> And it's not even like that orange token yeah, is like just... hidden. For anyone on the YouTube, it's not on the YouTube, but it's next to the ship. Yeah, it's bright and orange. We do, I do, yeah, cool. Yeah, Whoops. you just took a free shot. Cool. 
pling some damage off. Um, Grievous snaps the middle one. And, and you nab Hounds one. So It is 15-12 to you. And at this point, I can sort of see the writing on the wall a little bit, unless I get really lucky with like Hound and Hound's movement, because I'm not sure I can like kill you and get enough points to prevent Anakin and Stubb from just scoring you the victory here. So interestingly, I thought you'd be going after Stubb. Because I think he's the easiest one to kill. See, I actually don't think he is, because he's just going to be rolling a lot more dice depending on the moves you put. If you put in, keep putting in even moves, he just rolls a lot more dice. And I would rather take Cad's three into one and Grievous's three into one or none than three into three or three or three into two. Yeah, that's fair. But I mean, I honestly, I was expecting you to finish off both those ships. Yeah, it's, so it's, much... it's interesting how both of our perspectives, I was like, oh, this is going to take an absolute slog and it, Anakin gets back here or just keep scoring points because you're like Hound. I have to have both of my ships on the same place Hound is to tie it off. Yeah. And so if Stubb and Anakin are on their own point, like I can't, it's very hard for me to stop you from scoring two points a turn. Well, that was my thought was like, I'm expecting at some point Cat and Grievous to kill Hound and stuff. So they need to score as many points as they can. Well, I can get Anakin scoring points, but try and get him back into the fight as well. Yeah. Um, so, end phase, I rotate my turrets, because I'm doing a two heart to the left on the next turn, uh, trying to get up towards that top left, uh, top. You in priority? It doesn't matter. All right, no. So I do a one bank this time. Uh, the reason I did a one bank is because, again, just trying to catch you out, thinking I'd do a two hard. Yep, and you um, did. Like, I, I knew I couldn't get in range, so I felt, do this, then the next turn you do the hard turn, then you do a straight manoeuvre. Because at this point, like, if I just do predictable stuff, you're just going to outmanoeuvre me and throw a load of dice and I will die. I know that from experience. So I had to try and do something different. Yeah. Um, hence the um, too hard from stuff. Uh, and then I barrel roll to get me range one of the objective. So Cad does a one bank. He was trying to basically follow where I thought Hound was going to go. Um... Which leaves him completely in the open and utterly useless, taking a shot from both Hound and Stub and having no shot in return, so I take an evade. Uh, Grievous does a... Uh, I believe that is a one bank around the rock. Uh, again, where I thought Hound was going to end up. And I think I barrel... I think I barrel to the right trying to get out of Hound's arc. Hey, look, talking about missed tokens, you've still got contrast target lock. I think I actually noticed that. I noticed that in a second. And I just remove it quietly without saying anything. Oh, I just take a focus and I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. Three on one. Uh, I get crit blank blank and you roll an evade. Uh, oh, so we've completely skipped over Anakin. Uh, who, who did, did a one hard and uh, no, did boosted. A, did a talon roll. And boosted. Purple talon and boosted to get range one of that bottom objective. Yep. Um, so... We do stuff. Yeah, uh, I think you're checking fire convergence. Yeah, just just for people's reference, I did not recharge seven fleet gunner this time, so I'm not disarmed. Um, yeah, I, I oh, because I didn't use it last time, did I? So that's why. No. Um, so I use it this time. Um, and get one hit. Uh, and I fire. You fire. I didn't have fire a fire. Oh, uh, no, yeah, there we go. Um, so I, I, I spent it, and then you reminded me that I didn't have a focus because the barrel rolled. Yeah, because he's focused like almost every turn since I was automatic. Yeah, spend the focus, spend the focus. No, um, so I don't think he did anything. Um, uh, yeah, because I, I, I spent my evade token. Yeah, I, uh, you, you had two hits. I rolled evade blank and spent my evade token. Yeah. Uh, I then range one with Hound. Uh, I spend the force for three hits. And I roll two of eights. 
So that puts me down to three. But I nab two objective points this turn. Yep, seventeen twelve. Like this, this is what I was afraid of, and me misjudging where Hound was going, I think, is really like hurt. Because if Cad has another shot, this yeah. could be very different. But because it isn't. Because the way I look at it now is at seventeen twelve, and where the ships are. If I score two objective points for two turns, I win. Yeah. Even if you kill Hound, because your ships are all heading up towards one objective point. If that makes sense, yeah. Like I, I, I'm in the situation where I actually, like I, I actually don't see a way to win this game for me. For when Maul died, like the only way I think you win now is possibly turning Grievous after Stub. But I don't see how that gets me the win because I don't think Grievous can one shot you. No, but if you can two shot me, because I need to do it twice. Yeah. You can but it's, it's, it's the, the interesting is like if, if I turn Grievous after Stub, and assuming I get like an amazing shot and put like three damage in, then two damage in, you've, you're still on nineteen points at this point of Anakin yeah. alone, right? Or so, or you, or you turn both of them. But and I suppose that still leaves you too far. You have to kill then, Hound, don't you? Like I, I have to kill Hound, or like I, I had to get both of them shooting into Hound and not the Ion Cannon. Um, yeah. If possible, like I think the first iron cannon shot is fine. Like, I did a few turns ago, but like this, this I need both Cad and Grievous to be shooting their guns into Hound and putting damage through to catch up and then work on dealing with Stub. Yeah, because if I leave Hound alone, he just goes off, and then in a one v one, he just scores a point and probably lives. Yeah. So That's my assumption to do. My assumption was, um, you go after after Hound. Um, so Stub's just going to circle around that objective. Yeah, uh, but I did, or I thought I could do something sneaky with Anakin, um, because I think where he's, where he is, he's just on the skirts of range one of one objective, uh, the bottom one as I'm looking at it, and I think that a barrel roll to the left at a five straight leaves me range one of the centre objective, but also brings me much closer in towards the fight. Yeah, I'll admit I wasn't expecting this. I thought I thought Anakin would just happily circle around there because it was just guaranteed. Yeah, points. it's only because I was reasonably confident that if if not a a barrel roll five straight a barrel roll five straight boost, yeah, would get me get me range one. Uh, so I do do the barrel roll. I too hard with Hound to keep that arc pointing at where I think your ships are going to be and to set myself up for a straight, you know, if you, you have, basically, if you don't kill Hound this turn, then I'm pretty much guaranteed it. Yeah. So, because next turn I can have three ships on objectives and you can't kill all three of them. Yeah. Pretty much, like, uh, although we should know that it's currently 1712 and we said the game ends 2018, so... Yeah. Yeah, this is an interesting one. Um, so yes, yeah, Stub does it too hard, Hound does too hard. You do turn Grievous after. Yeah, so I turn after Grievous after Stub because I come to the conclusion that Hound can't score this turn, but Stub can. Yeah. And my hope is literally like, I need to kill Stub in one go with both of my ships because yeah. Cad does a 5k to score me a point and try and just maintain like maintain like parity uh and then i need to kill stub with whatever shots i can get ideally uh, grievous one shot stub four dice into four dice into three deals five damage and then i ionize hound and just hope that i can block him off the point yeah um and like, like that's that's the way i see it like i have like stub can score a point now hound can't so i go for stub See, it's interesting because I felt that 5k was... When you did that, I thought, well, that's the point. I thought, I've got this. Because even if you ionize, I think the the ionize bumps me into where you are now. And I think that's range yeah. one of the, Probably. the objective. And it's like, I don't... Even if you hadn't gone for the ion, I don't see Cad one-shotting 
hound. Oh no, he's not going to one-shot hound. So, so I bump into you, score yeah. that point, and you're stressed, so you're not turning around on me, so worst case it's a range zero shot. Yeah, because like, I didn't see anything that Cad could do that didn't like lose me, so I was like, well, let's get points. Well, I just thought, yeah, see, I just thought the slow manoeuvre to, to keep your arc on um, on Hound, but have mods as well. Yeah, but the thing is, I've got a damage engine. And the angle I was at, I think a one bank, I don't have a shot. And a hard t and yeah. hard turns. What K turn was it? Uh, 5k. Oh, I think a one bank to the right would have given yeah. you a shot. Like, like maybe, but like, I don't see what the shot gets me. What, plinking off Hound? But I, I have the shot right now. With no mods. Like, I have the target lock. from well, yeah, All right, wait. A, all right, a target yeah. lock. But if you but like it, one bank focus, then you're double modded. I, I deal two damage to Hound. He has five health left. You one straight and win. Yeah. Like, that to, me, that to me, this is like, all the magic has to align for me to tie. So let's go right. for the magic. Well, I mean, can't fault you for the play. Yeah, like, like, like that's what I think. Like, especially because I wasn't expecting Anakin to be here, so I just assumed I, in my head, I have already lost. So let's just try and get points. Yeah, because because I'm committing to going to trying to stopping Stub from scoring. Let's get a point, get it to thirteen. Hope that Grievous somehow kills Stub or makes it so that Stub has to do like a straight maneuver or die. Like loose stabilizer right now on Stub would be great. Yeah. Um. um but Anakin has a range three shot onto Grievous. Yeah. Who still has Contrails lock. Yeah. Uh, and I roll Focus Crit and Malice for a crit. I roll Actually, two of eights. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have Malice there. I probably should have just... I mean, actually, actually yeah, Malice actually does make me more likely to live. <laughs> yeah. Should have just spent the force for normal. Uh, but you dodge it. Uh, you go into... Um, stop. Uh, um, I get... Four dice, so two hits, two hits, a crit, and a blank, which I re-roll into a hit. Uh, I roll nothing, so I take three shields and a crit. The crit is a direct hit, so you've killed Stub. And uh, you, said I... you, you said you couldn't one-shot well, him. Let's be realistic. How likely is that to actually happen? Well, very likely. It just did. No, that's not. it just happening doesn't make it any less likely. <laughs> uh, so I shoot my primary into Hound with... Uh... Uh, CAD. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, uh, and Hound shoots Grievous and it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, so, you score two here and I score one. I score what? I think I score. Yeah, I do score two. So, so here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's the thing. I. We're now 18 17 to you. Hound doing literally anything makes you at 19. And so I have to, in my head, like, count on the fact that if Anakin just does a one hard and barrel rolls, he scores the center point and you win. So I have to make, I have to make suboptimal plays, essentially. Yeah. And just try and either, con like, I just have to kill Anakin or can try and con get somewhere to contest Anakin. Yeah. Whereas I'm just like, I need to score two points. Yeah. And yeah, I, I'm pretty confident a bump into Cad nets me that range one for Yeah. For that top one. And I didn't think that Grievous and Cad could like align shots on Hound the way they are. Like maybe if they could have both gotten shots into Hound, I go for that. But for what gets me is that you barrel roll in the system phase. Yeah, which I was a, surprised at. The system phase, I barrel roll to the left. So what that told me is that you were probably coming after Grievous. Uh, uh, Hound just does a two straight. Does, no, he does a one straight, doesn't bump and focuses. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, does he? I thought... Okay, yeah. He has, well, he has a focus token, so... Well, I mean, I could have got that from bumping. I thought I dialed in a two, because it was either Maybe it jumps did. over or it, or it bumps. Um, I don't see a stress. I but... don't see a stress. It must have been a one straight. Yeah. So Cad does a one bank uh, and focuses. I'm just hoping to catch Anakin in the arc at this point. And Grievous does a one heart and stays stressed. I do, and I boost with Cad. So uh, is it, 
it's interesting that you did that boost because I don't it's not that boost cost you but that boost made it so much easier for me to dodge out yeah. with Anakin because I do a I do a two bank to the right seeing if I can catch Grievous but I was like if you hadn't boosted I was pretty sure I could barrel roll in behind that rock not in behind but you know up snug to that yeah. rock um But because of where you've gone, I've done. I can bank boost to the left and dodge both arcs. Yeah. Um, yes, I don't have a shot. But what I've done there is I've stopped. I'm contesting the right hand objective, which means you're not scoring a point. So if Hound scores that point, I go nineteen seventeen. Yeah, and then it is over. Yeah. Um, so. Like, like, yeah. <sighs> My thought with the boost, I was just trying to make it as awkward as possible for Anakin to get shots. Oh, because I'm the, not the, saying the, that... the like the barrel, the, the barrel he did in the system just threw me because I was just like, why would Anakin come in? He's already won. Like, I don't think that the boost was a mistake by yeah. any stretch. I just happened to have dialed in the maneuver that can yeah that can cover that. Um, as for as for why. Why did Anakin come in? Because I knew that either Grievous turns with a a white manoeuvre and stays stressed, or if he does a blue manoeuvre, you're well out of position. Um, and I felt there was a gap I could get into there yeah. to contest the other one without without getting shot, I suppose. Or if I am getting shot, the likelihood is it's an obstructed shot. If you'd not boosted, I could have barrel rolled in yeah. behind. Um, well, you couldn't do it, though. But what? You couldn't do it. You barrel rolled. Oh, yeah. Of course it, well, there you go. That's me forgetting. But it's fine. Like Honestly, at this point, like 50% of it was because you're stressed and coming away from Hound, Hound just has to has to score two objective points. So one this turn, one next turn. Yeah. You Use Anakin to keep the others occupied, I suppose. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think because from my perspective, I was like, I need to get shots at Anakin because he's just staying in that center objective. And like where I was, it was going to be really hard to get good shots. So I was like, focus boost and hope Anakin stays there. But the problem I had, like if I won harder than then Barrel yeah. Lord, I still think Cad gets a shot. I mean, yay, two dice. <laughs> yeah, but we, you all know what like Jedi yeah, are like. Oh, hell! <laughs> those that you do it that turn, and then you sweep in the next turn with both. No, of but you'd them. have won. Oh yeah, that's true. That's I why like, I was so confused. <laughs> I like my way; it has more flair. That's but that's fine. Like I was literally like, why is he coming towards me? I mean, I I guess like I I had no. Wait, I was like, no, there's no way he's coming towards me. I just have to try and get shots and hope that the dice gods are with me. And I was like, yeah, had range three, two dice gun, let's go. Sam, it's not enough to win. You've got to win with style. I'm gonna, throw, enough. I'm gonna throw so much shade at you that I'm going to launch my four health fragile ship that's worth six points and wins you the game if it dies straight at you're the just, ships. You're, you're just sad that you moved Anakin onto a rock in the previous game and conceded off the, uh, straight off the bat, aren't you? I mean, that's, I conceded off the torps into... Because <laughs> let's be fair, after an R2-D2, all that really happened to Anakin was he had one damage card, so... True. True, I guess you, I guess you did technically concede after Grievous and Darth Maul had... Decided that Hound is no more on turn two. Pretty much. Uh, anyway, if people haven't guessed how this game is going, uh, Sean is going to win shortly. Hound's going to get him a single point. He shoots into someone, it doesn't matter. No damage is dealt. Uh, he gains one point. And then I just say, well, I've lost uh, Cad Bane. He's going to do like a four straight and claim the center objective. And Grievous is going to turn in and hope that another stub miracle happens. <laughs> yeah, Grievous yes. is good. Yeah. So and then I... you, but you, you system phase barrel roll in front of Grievous, making sure that a stop miracle absolutely <laughs> will never happen. I mean, I mean, it had to be done. You've got to go yeah. for the block there. Because yeah, I'm yeah, banking yeah. up behind, basically. So I need to stop you, you know, two harding and just having an arc. Um, and Cad, I kind of figured if you do a K turn, you're far enough back that it's not going to be an issue. Ad couldn't have done a K turn. He was stressed. Was he? I didn't. Was yeah, it hiding I behind his. But... But I did the focus boost, so it's, it is still there. I do a one bank, uh, and then I just barrel into the center. 
Well, that was it. I was trying to work out how evade. you... Oh, no, I, still... barrel, I, barrel, I barrel evade towards where Grievous is, because I'm like, I'm going to make sure I get a point. Uh, yeah, then I, I hard yeah. turn up and boost behind, and yeah. that's that. Like, Hound has a shot into Cad, it does nothing. Uh, but he scores a point. 2018. Yeah, that's what it was. I was like, I'm going to make sure I get a point, and, I want, and just in case you bumped into Grievous and tied me off, I was like, Cad's coming this way, so I can have definitely two ships on this one. <laughs> I mean that's fair. I mean I just expected you to you cad towards the center objective. Yeah, Wouldn't that was it? my first thought. And then I was like, actually like again, it was just like if if Sean messes up like like re like less of it and leaves like either bumps into Grievous or like does a slight screw up, maybe Cad gets a random shot, or maybe bumps into Cad and suddenly Grievous has a shot. Yeah. Like I said, like you played your outs, right? My my out was you messing up with Anakin and Grievous doing a Hail Mary. Yeah. But it's interesting, because as we said at the start, you know, we played the exact same lists in in the first game, and yeah, 25 minutes in, it was over. Yeah. I, 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 I legit think, like, the, the, the play that set me on the losing path was more stressing himself, because then my eight-point ship only fired one proton torpedo and spent the rest of the game close and running away. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like, if if I it's weird. Like it with like with hindsight. Like I looked at it. and I was like, if I five k and he blocks me, I'm completely bollocked. So let's take the safe move. And I think the safe move is fine. I just shouldn't have focused. Yeah. Right, guys. Uh, we were gonna consider actually looking at that other game, but as we've been nattering for like over an hour and a half now, I think we'd best not. Yeah, we best not. Uh, so yeah, um, I like this list though. Darth Maul is fun. Darth, I mean, he's he takes a lot to punch through. Yeah, it's and it's one of those weird things. Like he's actually just fine. He he he's a trader. You just need to trade him for eight points, don't yeah. you? Get those pro tops off, and or even not eight points. Trade him for something critical in the right. list. When he when he wiped out Hound, that effectively yeah. really nullifies Click Contrail and Stub. Yeah, like it, it was interesting. I, I was actually like. I think like if I it, uh, my thing was like if I trade more for the V wings as an example, like I'm actually okay with that because Cad and Grievous, like well, Grievous alone, um, just is like cool hound. Eventually, I will kill you, and Cad has enough control to be like I can assist. Yeah. So I was like, if I if I trade Darth Wall for two ships that aren't just Vulture drones or Tie fighters, I think I'm alright. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that for sure. But on that note, I think we'd better wrap it up because you guys yeah. are probably sick of listening to us. No, they love us. Well, you guys keep listening, so we'll keep talking just next week. Yeah. So, uh, What crazy list shall I bring next week? Five Tri Fighters? No, I might actually start making you bring lists I need to practice against. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but on that note, guys, we will wrap it up. So thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, ta-ta. Bye.